What's up, guys? Today we're going to be talking about the Crowfall shutdown rumors that came from a leaked Micro Ventures investor. If you're not familiar with Micro Ventures, it's basically a micro investment strategy where companies can raise money from investors uh, investing small amounts of money rather than larger amounts of money. Generally, when somebody invests in a private company, it has to be a, a fairly large minimum amount. And with this Micro Ventures um, company, it allowed for uh, fans of the game and uh, small time investors to get in on the action and get a piece of the company. So that's where this leak came from. This leak likely came from a disgruntled player and fan of the game. So before we get started, I just want to get this out of the way. Uh, I like Crowfall. I've been playing it for a very long time. I've literally been covering the game since the very first Kickstarter test. I've put, you know, thousands of hours into the game like the game. I think I've gotten my monies out of the game. And I think that Crowfall, regardless of how it turns out, is much better than the vast majority of games that have come out on Kickstarter because the game actually exists. Whether you like the game or not, it you know it wasn't a scam. It actually came out, was a real product. It's something that many, many people have had a lot of fun with, you know, thousands of hours of fun, some of us. Um, so I will get that out of the way. Uh, I, I like the game. I do. And I will come back, if, you know, under the right conditions. So uh, let's get into the financials of Crowfall. So I've been following the game for a long time. And they said uh, many years ago that the game needed 50,000 paying players to break even. If they had 50,000 players, then they'd keep the lights on. No big deal. Keep, you know, uh, developing the game. Boom, bada bing. That's all you needed. Uh, they're nowhere near that. Uh, nowhere near 50,000 players. But at the time, you know, 50,000 players, that's not a ton of players for an MMO. And in fact, that gave people a lot of confidence that their overhead was that low. Um, but that's the number that we heard many years ago. And to be honest, that number that number makes sense for uh, their expenditures and whatnot. Um, so, but the problem is they're nowhere near that. Um, they're, uh, I'd, lo I'd love to know how many actual p paying players they have because... A lot of the a lot of the veteran players haven't ever really paid for the game outside of the Kickstarter, uh, including myself. Because when I bought in, I think I have like ten years of VIP. Without reading the document verbatim, they basically summarize that they have a few different paths to go down. The first path is they need to significantly increase the amount of players interested in Crowfall and the amount of paying players. That option, I, I genuinely think, isn't going to happen unless there is a significant uh, update and patch to the game. Um, I don't think that the, the player account is going to dramatically rise under any circumstances with the current game at the moment. The next option is keep investing into Crowfall um, on the hopes that eventually it will turn itself around. Um, and raising more money that this is very, this line right here is very telling. They want to potentially raise more money with non-dilutive funding, meaning they want to raise money without selling more shares to the company, diluting the shares that people already have. That's pretty telling. If they're not going to dilute the, the company anymore and issue any more shares, uh, it kind of seems like they're not super committed to, to saving it if they're not willing to you know, put anything on the line, if they're not willing to raise any funds outside of uh, you know, you know, really giving people a reason to invest, which is obviously... You know, uh, having a percentage of the company. Uh, so that line right there, not raising funds via dilutive funding, is uh, a little worrisome for, for a fan of the game. And uh, another option is putting Crowfall into maintenance mode and diverting the funds that it makes to their other game, Atlas, which we'll get to in a second. And that's obviously the shittiest situation where you're just trying to milk Crowfall for all it's worth and not even reinvest anything into it and just take all the money it makes and put it into your new thing. Now, the final option is something that I think is probably the most attractive and the most realistic. Um, this is the one that in my dreams I would like to see happen, which is them sell Crowfall to another developer and uh, then that other developer takes the reins. That is probably best case scenario realistically for Crowfall. Do I think that's going to happen? Uh, I'm not betting on it, but if I had my way, I, I would hope that would be the way it would go, but hmm, I, I don't think so. I'm not, I'm not super confident right now, guys, to be honest, but um, now a lot of you guys might be saying, well, what about free to play in Steam? Don't they, they need it, like, why don't they at least try, right? Why don't they, why don't they at least try to make it free to play, go to Steam, and, and see if maybe they can, you know, get some traction on this thing? 
the problem with going free to play is that they need money to make that happen. They have to re- they would have to rework a bunch of systems, change the monetization model of the game entirely. Um, ch- they have to do a lot of work to make the game free to play. It's not it's not as easy as just making it free. And they they don't really have any easy path to free to play monetization. Everybody likes to say, "Oh, just sell skins." The problem is they have no skins system. There's no like, you know, way to change the model of your helmet. Um, and also all of the races are very unique. You have centaurs and minotaurs and um Half giants and Mermin Minotaur. You got all kinds of crazy stuff in this game, which is cool. But the problem is, is that all of those skins have to be fitted to all those different races. It's not as easy as just making one skin that fits everything. It's a lot of work to make a lot of skins. Uh, even if all the characters were humanoids, it would still be a lot of work to make a lot of skins to be able to actually sell it. So, even if the game went free to play and was successful, they don't really have. Uh, a viable path for free to play monetization yet. So, uh, going free to play isn't as easy as just flicking the switch. Um, they'd have to develop an entire business model and all these free to play assets to sell. So yeah, it, that's not looking great either. If, if the company is this razor thin, uh, on the edge, they might not even bother taking Crowfall free to play, especially if they're developing another game on the side. So, um, my inner conspiracy with uh, Ace and uh, Crowfall and all of this situation is, um, I think that Crowfall, you know, even if Crowfall just completely flops and fails and goes nowhere, I think that they're probably planning on using a lot of this Unity technology on their new game, Atlas. Um, They, they, Crowfall genuinely does have a lot of, like, really cool Unity, like, internal tech that they've developed um, with the world builder and, you know, with the power builder. And a lot of these things are genuinely, like, really cool. And I could totally see them using those assets and tools that they've made for Crowfall for their new game or potentially licensing them out to other companies. Um, having some friends that work in Unity, they have, they've personally said, like, you know, some of that stuff they have is pretty cool. And they spend, you know, they spend a lot of, you know, Crowfall's development money on developing that kind of shit. So going, coming into their new game with all that stuff pre-built is not the worst thing in the world. So, Atlas, w- w- what's it going to be? What's the new game? Here's the thing about Atlas, guys. It's probably not going to be for us. It's probably going to be a kid's game. So all the people that are like, nobody's going to buy Atlas when they hear about Crowfall. Here's the thing, dude. The nine-year-olds of tomorrow, the nine-year-olds five years from now aren't going to care about Crowfall, know about Crowfall, Heck, people are probably aren't going to remember Crowfall. So, uh, Atlas, based off of what the previous, what uh, the developers have done in the past with uh, J. Todd and Wizard One Hundred One and various non competes probably being up by now, I think Atlas is not going to be for the hardcore, sweaty, live in your mom's basement gamer. Uh, I think it is probably going to be a kids game or some kind of uh, non traditional game that is not meant for us boomer gamers that's what i would uh, imagine atlas is probably some sort of kids game mobile game uh, non-traditional game so crowfall's future what do i what do i think is going to happen um what are my plans for crowfall so here's the thing dude despite everything i've said you know i I love the game it's obvious i love the game i have like hundreds of crowfall videos at this point i've been covering the game longer than literally anybody else on youtube um I will come back, dude. I will come back to the game if there is a significant update. If, you know, if there's something that makes, like, small-scale PvP more relevant and there's, like, a big, you know, new thing, some sort of, like, Hellgate system uh, via, like, Albion Online, something like that, I will come back. I will play. I'll get all my friends to come back and play on my guild. There's so many people that are just waiting in the wings for that update because the small-scale PvP is genuinely a lot of fun. There is a lot of fun to be had with the game. Um... And, ah, you know, there's a lot of people that will come back, but I'm not going to come back on this current patch with the current balance with Confessors, I think, still one-shotting people. Uh, With the game being log into Siege, you know, Zerg balls, and then the world is dead afterwards. Uh, There's got to be more than just that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Would you come back if there was an update? Uh, Free-to-play? 
uh, you know, I'm, I'm personally not optimistic about any of it, but let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.